Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Let's say for today's video. Beer's courtesy of Steven. Thanks so much, Steven. I really appreciate it. And it's another beer from Phantom. And uh, I love the can art on this. It's like the Grim Reaper death doing a sick guitar solo. And uh, it's like equal parts ridiculous and awesome. Uh, Bad Boy Boogie, New England style IPA, 6% ABV. And uh, I don't know how old it is. They don't uh, do dating. But yeah, let's get into it. I didn't look anything up. I don't know hop or hops, anything like that. So it definitely has the look. I mean, it's it's that, you know, beyond unfiltered, you know, not quite turkey gravy or, or you know, butternut squash soup, but definitely that orange, a little bit burnt orange with some yellow mixed in, hazy. So it's got the look. Um, almost exactly two fingers, barely off white head, tiny bubbles. Like some of them are nitro tiny, then just some regular small as well mixed in. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks the part. I see some like particulates floating around, maybe some dead yeast or something. But anyway, let's get to aroma. <sighs> what is it? That is super familiar. It's it's confectionery. It's um, it's a kind of candy. Oh my goodness! What is that? It's so familiar. It's. It's a fruity candy. I feel like it has like sugar, you know, sugar powder on the outside. It is exactly that thing. I just can't think of what that thing is. It's a little bubble gummy, which I like, so that's cool. Uh, that's definitely something I like in the style. It's probably better I, I start talking about things I can get. <laughs> There's a sweet lemon, um, like candy lemon. What is that like? It's like fake grape. I get some apricot, some dried apricot. What is it? You know what it smells like? This is this is maybe the weirdest thing I've ever said. I don't know if this is all drive-through uh, car washes or just the like ones I've gone to locally. <clears throat> but when you get the wax, I think it's the wax setting, there's like this really pleasant aroma um, as that part is like all these particulates. Like the ones locally, they're like different color pellets like hitting your car, like splatters hitting your car. And it's it, part of it is whatever that smell is, I kind of, it's just like this sweet thing, a, a sweet nondescript makes you think fruity dessert thing. First beer of the day, and I'm pulling that nonsense. Anyways, anyway, let's get into the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Steven. For as much sweetness as the aroma has, <clears throat> there's a lot of zestiness and a good level of bitterness. It does drink more like a New England-style IPA versus a double IPA, which makes sense because that's what they're calling it at 6%, but... Um, like in a refreshing way, it, it, it drinks like that. The after, I, I really like the experience. The aftertaste, I'm not huge on. It's fine. It, it, there's just, there's like a little, little too much like rind, like orange rind. I don't know, like if you could dial that back. But like the, the experience itself is nice. And it, it makes sense that the aftertaste has that rind because it does have a lot of citrus zest going throughout. Yeah, it, it's so funny. I'm getting that lemon candy and the aroma, and it's very much lemon on the taste. And we're talking again, the zest, the actual, you know, like juice. Then you do get some orange, but again, it's the zest first, then some juice. Um, a little bit of grapefruit, but it's most, mostly distinctively lemon and orange. 
Um, there is some sweetness to it, but but definitely do not misunderstand me. It, it is a more bitter, zesty beer. It's very refreshing that way. Um, yeah, I mean, I've had New England salad peas that taste similar to this, um, but it also it's not. It's like a lot of beers, or I, actually, I think it's like every beer I've had from these guys. It just, it reminds me of going to a place, getting a flight, and it's like, yep, that's what the brown ale tastes like, like, right, like, what's that, so, okay, that, yep, that's the take, their take on New England Style IPA, I get that, yep, here's their take on, uh, I forget the other ones I had, I think there was a sour, um, oh, yeah, there's a sour IPA that had some adjuncts in it, and um, I don't want to say paint by numbers, but definitely... It's not world class, but it's also not like stick your nose up at it. It's just like, it's good. Like you go to a place and you go to a brewery and they have beer and you're like, yeah, this is good. There's nothing wrong with good, right? And everyone can be great, you know, uh, uh, you know, super amazing, blah, 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 blah. And luckily these guys are not some brewery that's like garbage either, right? So like, yeah, this is another good beer from them. Thanks again, Steven. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.